Hello and welcome. We'll be working on the speed formula today. And what the speed formula is, it's a formula noted by S for speed. And what this formula does is tell us how fast something is traveling. And if we give some information, we'll be able to find out how fast objects travel, how fast people travel. Um, anything that moves, anything that changes over time, we'll be able to figure out how fast it changes. So for speed, the two things that we need to find out to see how fast something is going, let's say we have uh, simple enough, let's just have a car. And this car has a speedometer. And a speedometer is just something that measures how fast it travels. Okay, And every car has one. Usually it starts at, uh, let's see, zero, and it goes to 60, and then maybe even up to 100 miles an hour. And you have something little uh, dial right here saying how fast it's going. Okay, So the speed, S, is equal to two pieces of information. It's equal to D, which is the distance, and it's also equal to T, which is the time. And what these two pieces of information are telling me that if I know how far, if I can answer how far this car has traveled, and I can tell how long it's been traveling, I can figure out the speed, which is what it tells me on the speedometer. And I'll go ahead and write this out speedometer. Okay, so we have a car and it's going at, let's see, it's traveling 45 miles on the freeway. Okay, starts here and stops there. And within that 45 miles, here I'm drawing my two clocks to show that time has passed. It starts at the top of the hour and this minute hand travels to 45 minutes. Go ahead and draw that like so. So in 45 minutes, 45 minutes, it's traveled 45 miles. Okay. Let me go ahead and just move this up. Okay. I'm going to rewrite the speed equation. S is equal to D over T. So I just go ahead and put in the 45 miles. 45 miles. And I divide it by... 45 minutes because that's how long this car has been traveling. I can figure out how many miles per minute this car travels. And we'll get into miles per hour in a moment. Okay, we'll we'll go ahead and talk about miles miles per hour in a moment. But we'll just start with miles per minute for now. Well, we know that this fraction bar is just a division problem, right? So it really is saying 45 miles divided by 45 minutes. And 45 goes into 45 one time. And then I have, so 45 divided by 45 is 1. Miles divided by minutes is the same as miles per minute. 
And this is really interesting to, to think about it. This car has traveled 45 miles in 45 minutes. And by working out the division, it works out to one mile per minute. So for every minute that this car is traveling at this speed, it covers one mile. So for the first minute, it's the first mile, second minute, mile two, the third minute, three miles, and on and on and on, as long as this car is traveling at the same speed. So what does a mile per minute mean in uh, car speed? Because cars aren't really measured their speed isn't measured in miles per minute. We're not going to be seeing the maximum speed as one mile per minute. Right? We are going to be saying, here, this is a sign. No, we're actually going to be seeing things like 55 miles per hour, right? Things like that, 55, 65. So we want to figure out a way of changing this miles per minute into miles per hour. I'll go ahead and move this up. Rewrite the speed equation, S is equal to D over T. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. And we'll go ahead and put those um, numbers back in. It was 45 miles every 45 minutes. But I want to go ahead and change the 45 minutes into hours. I want to change 45 minutes into a certain amount of hours. If I know that 60 minutes is one hour, then 45 minutes should be a certain fraction of an hour. 45 minutes is a fraction of an hour. And we'll figure out how much of a fraction. Fraction of an hour. So 45 minutes divided by 60 total minutes should give me the fraction of an hour. So 45 and 60 both have a common factor. We'll say that that is uh, 5. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this equal sign. So 45 minutes divided by 5, well, that's just 9. And 60 divided by 5 is 12. Okay, so that's that's a pretty good um, equivalent fraction, a fraction that's equivalent to this. I think I can uh, take out some more factors. Let's take out, it uh, looks like a factor of 3 is pretty good. And 3 up top, 3 down below. And that turns out to be, here, let me just scoot this over, move this over just a little bit. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. For 45 minutes, that turns out to be three quarters of an hour. Okay. So instead of putting 45 minutes, let me go ahead and put in three quarters of an hour. Three fourths of an hour. All right. I'm going to just clear the area down below. Uh, yep, that's that can go. Um, sorry, signs. You've served your purpose. And we know that 3 quarters of an hour is the same as 45 minutes, so we don't have to hold on to this information any longer. So, goodbye. 45 miles divided by 3 quarters of an hour. Another way of writing that is 45 miles times 
four over three hours. Because whenever I have a fraction in the denominator, I can multiply times its inverse, times its reciprocal. So the inverse, the reciprocal of three-fourths is four-thirds. You just flip that fraction right over. If you're dividing by three-fourths, you can multiply by four-thirds. Okay, let's do the math. 45 times 4, well, that's just uh, 180. Okay, 45 times 4 is 180. Here, I'll just put that in there for good measure. And then we divide by 3. Let's make sure our labels are still there. Miles up top, hours down below. 180 divided by 3. Let's say I don't know my um, that type of math. I do know that 3 goes into 18 six times, so 3 would have to go into 180 60 times. That turns out to be 60 miles per hour. So to review, all we did to figure this out was change 45 minutes into fractions of an hour. And that turned out to be 3 quarters of an hour. And that's what 45 minutes is. 3 quarters of an hour have passed um, for 45 minutes. So we, the one crucial thing is we go ahead and plug in our distance over time and we go ahead and take the reciprocal of three-fourths of an hour instead of dividing by three-fourths we're multiplying by four-thirds we do our math Here, we'll, we'll, I'll put three and 180 divided by three that turns out to be 60 miles per hour so and that and that really makes sense because something that travels 45 miles in 45 minutes should travel 60 miles in 60 minutes okay 45 miles in 45 minutes that's the same as 60 miles in 60 minutes. And 60 minutes we know is one hour, so that's 60 miles per hour.